Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Everyone always talks about squats, but there are so many different variations of squats, so don't plateau by doing the same kind of squats and the same kind of reps over and over again. I'm gonna be showing you guys 10 different variations of squats. So, y'all enjoy. What's up guys? I will be talking you through the 10 different squat variations to build those legs and glutes you've always wanted. Key to squats is mixing it up. You don't wanna be doing the same exercises over and over again. You wanna be changing your workout routine to keep your body guessing so that you will get the most out of your workout. We're gonna start off with this basic back squat. Um, look straight, shoulders back, chest out, lower back slightly arched, toes pointed out slightly. Uh, squatting at parallel will work more of your quads, but if you are wanting to work more of the glutes and hamstrings to get that nice booty, then you better drop it low as to grass. This will work the posterior side of the body. Don't forget to squeeze your glutes at the standing position of any squat. This is so, so important, especially for us girls. All right, variation two is the front squat. You can use this hand position, or if you strain your wrist too much doing this, you can cross your arms over, but the proper placement of the bar is just above the clavicles. This movement will actually put more emphasis on your quads as well as your core, basically working the anterior side of the body. Variation three is the sumo squat, and this is definitely one of my favorites since this emphasizes on the inner thighs and glutes. You wanna stand in a much wider stance with your toes pointed a little more outward than your traditional squat, um, and make sure to squeeze at the top. I can't emphasize that enough, especially to get those nice round glutes, and that's what I like about this movement is that it really targets the out, outer area of the glutes. Um, which gives it that nice round look. Ladies, I know you know what I'm talking about. All right, we're moving on to variation four. Well, I could have gotten that weight up a little cleaner, but it's been a while. This is a squat variation that I constantly struggle with, um, but you wanna get a very wide grip when you do these and your elbows should stay locked out help keep your shoulders active as you're going up and down. It takes some coordination and I'm not very good at them. Um, it's a really great full body workout. So if you're kind of in a hurry at the gym, this is a great thing to do as it works your entire body. And variation number five is the barbell hack squat. If you don't have a hack squat at your gym or your lifting platforms at home in your garage, no biggie. You know, the best way to actually do this is to put two small plates under your heels so that you'll push up on the balls of your feet. It gives you that nice roundness that you want in your quads. They can be a little difficult when you have a booty. All right, and here we have variation number six, which is the braced Squats. Um, just like the overhead squat, these are a full body workout. So you are engaging your upper body as well as your lower body. A lot of your core as well is engaged. Um, you can also hold anything you want in front of you. Plate, dumbbell, water jug, baby, puppy, whatever gets your arms burning, use that. This is something that you can do at home too, so that's always nice. We have variation number seven, which is the lunge squat. The reason I don't call this a split squat is because in this exercise I'm doing, you want your body weight evenly distributed, whereas a split squat, the weight is more distributed onto the leg lunge forward. Anyway, for a lunge squat, you want to lower your body with your torso upright and push back up, keeping your core engaged the entire time. Usually I wear my lifters on these leg days, which I probably should have, but uh, I could not find them. But we are moving on to variation number eight, which is the Bulgarian split squat. This movement is a little different than the lunge squat. You're gonna raise your back leg onto some sort of surface uh, so you can train one leg at a time. Stack two plates, three plates on top of each other, or if you find a box, you can do it on your couch. It requires more balance and core than a lunge squat. What's really nice about it, it increases flexibility in your hip flexors, which can help with your squats, and variation number nine, the goblet squat. This is a squat variation that is easy to master for people from all walks of life, especially for you beginners. It's almost difficult to do this movement incorrectly because when you're holding that weight in front of you, it almost forces you to do this uh, movement correctly. But that being said, just you know, double check your form. You can choose the squat at parallel, you know, below parallel, 
or squat all the way down and give your cheeks that two to three, four, five second squeeze at the top. And variation number 10, the traditional air squats. Don't forget about these, especially as a warm up before going into barbell squats. You can do regular up and down air squats, pulsing squats to keep resistant, especially on the glutes, which I love. And I love doing those two, three second, very attractive butt squeezes at the top where it makes you look like you have a pancake butt. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will keep making these videos. Thank you guys so much.